Central venous line insertion, basic skills. The skin has been infiltrated and is ready for the central venous line insertion. Swipe to select the insertion needle with attached syringe. Orient the needle bevel caudally and at a 30 degree angle to the skin to facilitate guide wire passage. Insert the needle into the skin at the lateral border of the clavicle while pulling back on the plunger to apply negative pressure. Stop the needle when it reaches inferior to the clavicle. When the subclavian vein is accessed, venous blood will flow into the syringe. Swipe to remove the syringe and immediately place your thumb over the needle connector. Confirm venous access by ensuring there is non-pulsatile flow when removing your thumb from the needle temporarily. Insert the guide wire into the needle and progress carefully into the subclavian vein. Stop the insertion of the guide wire when the EKG monitor shows an arrhythmia. Use the scalpel to make a small incision in the skin next to the entry point of the guide wire to facilitate placement of the dilator. Place the dilator over the guide wire and advance it 1 to 2 cm into the skin while rotating. If there is excessive bleeding, Place the gauze over the guide wire entry site and hold pressure to control bleeding. Place the catheter over the guide wire and begin to insert the catheter using a rotating motion. Slide the guide wire slightly out of the skin to aid manual control of the guide wire while advancing the catheter. Insert the catheter until the tip is at the junction of the superior vena cava and the right atrium. Swipe to remove the guide wire and gauze while positioning the catheter for stabilization. Use the suture to secure the line in place. Obtain a chest x-ray to check the line placement and to confirm hemothorax or pneumothorax has occurred.